While every business is different, of course, the most successful ones have a lot of traits in common. So here are three things successful businesses do. Number one, they create a strategic plan. My team and I are shocked at how many companies don't have a strategic plan. And those that do, it's usually old or outdated and it's sitting in a drawer somewhere in the office and no one is ever looking at it. The great part about a strategic plan is that it helps us stay focused. It helps us stay focused on our goals because we've all had that shiny object syndrome where opportunities fly out at us and we wanna take everything. We wanna say yes to everything. When we have a plan, we can look at that plan and see, is this opportunity really gonna help us achieve our goal? And if it is, great. And if it's not, it's easy to say no to and it helps us get on track. I absolutely love when someone from my team walks into my office and says, I was getting a little overwhelmed and I picked up the plan, I looked at it, and I got back to work. It helped them prioritize their day. And that's what a strategic plan can do for an organization as a whole. It helps us keep the priorities straight and help us stay focused to achieve what we're trying to achieve. Number two, they invest in their people. If a team member lacks energy and motivation, they're not engaged, and their personal life is, is just a mess, there's a lot going on, how can we expect them to come into the office and be engaged at work and, and have a productive day? We can't. So when we invest in our people by having them read great books and sending them to training and coaching programs, we're helping them become the best version of themselves so that they can then help the company become the best version of itself. And number three, they create a coaching culture. Most people need a coach way more than they need a manager. People need to be managed. Of course, we need to be held accountable. But when we coach our people, it's such a different dynamic. We discover more about who they are, how they work, their work process, their thought process, their personality style. And we can coach them to grow, to get better at their role. It completely changes the dynamic of an organization. It helps to build a dynamic culture. It helps to engage the team members more. Because when you're in a coaching culture, you're making every experience with your team count. You are constantly giving them feedback on their work and how they can improve. Everyone just feels a lot more safe to communicate with each other, to have open conversations about how they can grow and how they can help the organization grow. Great leaders love to coach. They also love to be coached. If you start to incorporate these strategies in your business, you will absolutely see a positive shift in your organization. Until next time, keep striving to become the best version of yourself.